Alright, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I thought I will show you how I am updating my blog. So as some of you know, I have a blog that I've made a little while back. Um, and the blog works fine and everything and I was like, I might actually show you how I'm actually making those posts on my blog and how am I keeping it updated. And it's actually a system I've made a little while ago and I'm really proud of it. Uh, so I thought like I may take you along on the ride to show you how it's actually working and uh, how it all works out in the end. So you can see I got these posts and everything, I got scrollable posts and stuff, uh, everything is stylized as you can see. Um, here I have like uh, quick links to set web pages and I have like uh, multiple web pages that are connected between each other by using either these menus or if some of you have visited my home page you know that I have a links.exe window going on over here with links to things that helped or may help other people uh, with the Deepload Windows 10 thing that I did a while ago uh, my personal blog which will send you you guessed it to my blog can return home here and um, uh, these two guys that I've made recently um, I thought I might like share my configurations and everything because when it comes to gaming on Linux you really need to work a bit harder than normally but that's that's not what we're talking about here today we're talking about my blog and um, it is a really simple looking blog not gonna lie it's really simple and uh, the way I make my posts is I believe a bit interesting some of you may be like boring to say the least so I want to show how I'm actually, actually, let me resize that. So I want to show how I'm uh, making my blog posts. So it might be actually better by, and also I've made it so it resizes dynamically, which is something that I didn't mention before. So you'll be able to see the changes here in real time. So I'm currently in my uh, GitHub directory right here. And uh, the thing is that um, we need to first clone the repository to be able to get it, to get all the posts that I've made uh, before. It's not like I couldn't make it um, like from within GitHub itself right here, but it, it's much faster for me to just clone the repo, write the post itself and publish it over there. So a way, you, uh, a way I like to do it is if you go here to clone or download, uh, you can click this button right here which is going to copy this link to your clipboard and uh, some of you know my simple terminal configuration uh, I will be making a separate video about that real soon but uh, the gist of it is um, I have uh, Vim key bindings and stuff uh, I'm still learning how to use Vim so you can expect that sometime in the future but for now I'll be sticking with Nano or Gedit depending on what I like to use I'll most likely stick with Nano for now. So uh, back onto the topic. So we're going to clone the repo with using git clone. Uh, git clone. Can't type today. Um, and to push it in, I press Alt and B, and it's gonna push the link in. And it's going to clone my blog. I clean to it. As you can see, it's done. It's actually really small. Other blogs have like special features and stuff, scripts, and Fun fact, I'm actually using, I believe, only once. It's not even a script, actually. I'm not using any sort of script, actually, which is kind of interesting. But it all works, and it's simple. So uh, if we go into the block directory and uh, list everything out, uh, you'll see you have all of these things. And the way I've structured it is that we have the index.html file, which if you put in the link, it's going to open this. and Normally it looks really barren. You would think that all the texts are in here, like manually set in. Well, that's inefficient. So a way I've made it to work is, uh, let's open it with Nano for now. We're not gonna edit it, I guess, but if you open it, um, there's not a whole lot going on. Like, look at this. It's it's just this and there's already so much going on. So uh, the way I structured it is that uh, here at the top you have the title which obviously is showing right here. 
uh, here the style sheet I'm referencing to my style.css file which has all the stylizations basically the separations between each post how the colors are set for the borders of the posts and for the backgrounds the text everything else even the header right here and the footer right here so everything is uh, every single styling part is made uh, real with the style.css file which is located in the same directory which makes it much easier for me to edit if I ever need to need to make any sort of styling styliza stylization changes um, and you can see right here here is basically where all the magic is happening uh, to show you a bit easier what I'm talking about if you look over here I have multiple classes I have defined a row uh, a left column a card and that's it so I'm using divs to basically load in every single style I have for each of these classes. The row style is basically putting them in one row so that they are not scattered around the web page. The left column is going to align them to the left column, which is simply a centered column, but I have it set as left column because I was lazy and it works and I just don't want to break it. So this works for me. And uh, the card class basically tells it how the post is supposed to look basically what it is it's a box with a green background that's it nothing else just a box with a green background um, you can see here at the top div class header um, that's basically this right here I have it aligned to the left and change the font and uh, here you can see the div class footer which is basically at the bottom right here um, so yeah, we can close that. Uh, that's it, basically. And um, uh, if we uh, list out the posts folder, you can see uh, this hosts all my posts and one file, actually two to two files that you don't see in action are these two. Um, actually, you see this one in action, but this one. Uh, this one is my blog post template. It's a template I've made and I'm like still improving it to make it much easier for myself to edit every single post I make. Basically what this says, uh, if I uh, open it uh, in, in nano, if I could type today, uh, if I open it, uh, you can see it's really bare bones. Now this thing you don't say, this is a comment. I got this commented out because Whenever I'm editing text and want to emphasize something or want to make something that works, um, it just uses this. And you can see here I'm using diffs again. So why am I using so many diffs and stuff? You see, um, since I have a stylepost.css file, which, if you remember, is in the same folder right here. Uh, actually, let me open that to show what I mean. Actually, we can close this and just open this down at CSS file like this. Okay, there we go. And it's really simple. And what this does, it basically stylizes each and every post to be consistent. So you see, actually this one is a good post to show it on or maybe a re more recent one. Actually, I've made a, yes, I have set it as a blog post. Don't judge me. So this is a post I made recently. And the way that this one works is that, um, uh, you got here a date. Now the date itself is, if you look here, date time, which is what I've called it, is aligned to the right, which checks out. Text size is 10 pixels, which also checks out, and the color is white. So yeah, that's that. I've chosen white to make it easier to read, because if, if I would pick any sort of darker colors, it would cause um, problems with reading and eye strain. So this makes it much easier to read and the colors aren't so bright that it would blind you. At least in my case it doesn't do that. Not sure in your case, each monitor is different. So I thought this looks a bit neat so I used this. Um, so this is basically just an HTML page. Each post is its separate HTML page which is loaded into a iframe. And that creates the illusion of having a separate post on that. Now the reason why I styled this one as a post is simple. I wanted to keep the consistency. I don't want to break it. The last thing I would like to do is just break the consistency. Actually, let me close that. 
Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. So um, to continue on, uh, for example, the image right here, that's actually pretty neat. I have a image style class right here or an image class. And what this one does, it says the background to this like, it's basically the same like this one, at least I think it looks like the same one. That's what I think, I'm not really sure if it's the same one, I'll have to check. But it looks really similar. Um, it's centered It's centered out, so it's in the center. Um, padding 15, margin 15, which is basically how it's centered and set out, so it creates this sort of a block. Uh, the reason why it's made so big is that if I put any sort of bigger or smaller image, I can emphasize the image that way, so it makes it a bit more stand out, you know. Um, <clears throat> the text itself, <clears throat> I'm sorry, for, I'm sorry. Um, so the text itself is basi basically um, this part right here. Uh, I have it stylized that it has like 12 pixels along to the left and white color. Everything is white color because I want it to be easy to read and easy on the eyes. And I'm using Arial, fight me if you want, but I'm using Arial. Uh, so that's the CSS file. So we're going to the blog post template file again. Um, the way it's structured is that here and the, and I, I've made it so simple for myself. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm unprofessional right now. Um, so the way I've made it is that I have a date and time class as I showed you, which is basically going to do this. Uh, I usually put in the exact time I started writing the post and the date I started writing it on. Um, the title, basically on what depends, and I've made it bold like this. I know I could have said it in the CSS file, but it's much easier for me to just have it that manually and I don't have to deal with anything of that, so I've chosen that. Uh, the subtitles, even though it could be a subtopic instead, <coughs> is uh, basically this one, this part right here. These sort of ideas, separated ideas, so they can keep a flow in the post. And then the text, and whenever I want to make a multi-part, like this post right here, uh, actually I can pull it up. Uh, let me pull it, let me pull up the post. Uh, I think it's blo mm. It's not that. It's actually somewhere else. Let me move up on the directory. Uh, it's in the about section. And it's, it's it's a separate index file. No, it's a separate uh, about.html file. So let me open that up. Uh, and this is basically uh, the post itself. Now, if you have a look over to the left side right here, I'm gonna highlight what so that you can easily understand this. So this, the date and time, this thing right here matches this thing right here. Uh, title, about me with bold, about me in bold. Um, class subtitle, who am I? Class subtitle, who am I? See that? Um, here, text. And I don't have to limit myself in terms of like writing the text itself. We can actually, let me move down there. Um, I know I should have used Wimble there, so if people are probably raging. You can see that I'm using breaks to start a new line, which is much easier than having to use something else entirely. Uh, yeah, that's that. Um, here again, not a subtitle or a subtopic, I should say, but I have it called subtitle to make it easier for myself to distinguish between each and every part so I don't have to be confused when I'm making these sort of things. Um, when it comes to the pictures, as I mentioned, you can see here I have an image class. And the way I structure it is I have a image source, which is going to load up the image from a set directory, um, give it a alternative title, which here it doesn't match, but I don't care. No one's gonna look that up anyway, because I have those context things disabled anyway. Um, here I see the height and width of the image, based on how much I need to show of the image. 
and that's that and here's the text under the image itself that is what i look like which matches this thing right here so that's basically uh how the blog posts are structured now to show you how i put them on the web page itself i've decided i'm gonna write one right now it's gonna be a bit simpler than that so well <sighs> Let's do it, I suppose. So let's go into the post directory and actually let me clear this out so it's a bit easier to read for you guys. So the way I'm going to edit it is really simple. I'm currently in my blog directory. I'm going to list out directories, go to my post directory, list out the files. You now you can see the BP template. Now the way I make my blog posts and don't have to use my mouse to do any of this is something I really enjoy and look at that. So uh, we're going to do copy, do, um, we're going to take the BP template file and we're going to name it uh, BP3 for like blog post 3.html. So if we list it out now, you will see another file has been made. So if we open up the uh, blog post 3.html file, you see it has the same contents as the one before. And um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Uh, so here I'll do all of my edits I normally do uh, to show you that, it, that it's actually working. Um, I will probably remove this blog post anyway, uh, or I may change it to make it a bit more in line with everything. Actually, let's make something that I would actually write to show us an example. So I have a YouTube, I cannot type today, YouTube channel. And uh, just the date time. See, I'm already goofing things up. So date and time, obviously look over here. It's August. So a way to keep myself consistent and prevent myself from doing stupid stuff. I'm clicking over that. Oh, it's the fourth. So, uh, yeah, why not? Actually, let's keep it more consistent. Uh, 2019. And the time is 10 03 04 <laughs> a.m. So we save that. We have set our title and every uh, title, date, and time for the title. Um, so I have a YouTube channel again save it just to be consistent um, I don't know what to do for the subtitle to be honest let's um, well what should we do uh, well I'm basically making this a bit too hard for myself <laughs> but that's most likely because I'm dumb <laughs> Uh, great doesn't work again. Uh, okay, let's go to YouTube normally and just visit my. Uh, so let's go to my onto my channel, and we're going to sooner copy this. Actually, we change this. We remove the view as subscriber thing. There we go. Um, so yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, so let's say, what is my YouTube channel about? What is it about? Oh, and this is why I told you I prefer to use a keyboard, not a mouse, you know, instinctive and stuff. Just these things. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write a bit of a text. I'm gonna move it a little bit, so I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. And uh, I don't know. Uh, 
let's say um, so my channel is about my adventure into the technology world um, you can follow me along if that's if that is your thing and if I want to end it off I'll just uh, switch my keyboard out real quick and uh, type in a break and continue on with the post just like that um, here is the link and it's an HTML page so one thing to remember um, I believe it's a a href or e href. It's a a, a a href. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, I'm sorry. And we're going to end it off with an a right here. And um, the way I like to make the link is I go over here, copy this, and good thing I'll normally I'll I'll just copy paste it here. And. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, I might be a bit sick today. You can follow the. You can follow me along if that's your thing. Uh, here is the link, and I just um, punch the link right in there. But to make it seem a bit more professional, I'll just move it one space. Um, a way I'd like to check if it did actually apply correctly is if we, and I do not normally do this, um, and I want to make sure it's opened up properly. Uh, if we go ahead and find the GitHub folder, go to my blog folder, go to posts, you'll see blog post 3, and I usually like to open it just to make sure it looks fine. As you can see, it's not working. So, a way that I like to check uh, what I did wrong is. I usually do this, I go to the about page, go to the about HTML and I open it with a text editor just to check the syntax, you know. And it's a target blank ref. Oh. Uh it's much easier for me to just copy this, to be honest with you guys. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm really sorry. I said I won't be using the mouse and I broke the promise. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on. So, we're going to punch that in. Again, we're going to save it, and now it's going to work. As you can see, it's made into a link. If you click it, I click it with a middle, middle click. You don't have to do it. You can just click it. It's going to open in a separate tab, as you can see. So, the link is working. And as you can see, it's this is basically an HTML page with the post itself in it. It's that's that's how simple it is so uh, yeah it's really simplistic I'm really sorry <laughs> and I did a little bit of a screw up right there but uh, great I forgot what I wanted to write and I'm already stretching this video out and I just want to show how it's getting done uh, so here's the link uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, I hope that we will learn a lot uh, of stuff, sutra <laughs> stuff. I hope we learn a lot of stuff. There we go. And. Um, yeah, let me just add another break, or what I like to do, I would recommend anyone to do this. 
If I don't have to, I want to include a conclusion, but I figured why not. And we can just, you know, like, as you can see, it's picked that, but let's say we want to copy it. Simple. Like this. <laughs> <coughs> so, conclusion or the conclusion. The conclusion. Again, we're going to. We're going to just punch the same thing in, but change it from uh, subtitle to text so that we don't uh, screw up our styling. Uh, the uh, conclusion is that uh, I wanted to let you let you guys know that it even exists in the first place. And we could later incorporate an image if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna, so I'm just gonna remove the image thing uh, with using Control K. There we go. And nothing was cut. So we're going to save it, the Control X, and this is basically the post written in about 80 minutes. I know it's short and it shouldn't have taken me that long, but in eight minutes, that's pretty neat, it's pretty decent. It usually takes me longer if I want to write like a longer paragraph. So I'm going to close this, and now you might be wondering, well, that's all cool and dandy, but how are we going to publish it? How are we going to see it? Well, before we do that, we need to actually update one more page or one more file. Uh, we go one directory up, and as you remember, I showed you that there is a separate index.html file. My blog itself is hosted on its own index.html file, and the posts itself aren't listed like that. It's actually a bit more complex. So to make it a bit simpler for myself, I would say blog post three. So what do I do? I open the index.html file, and that's the kicker right here. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, and please for, and okay, thanks. Please forgive me. Actually, let me move this up. I'm gonna copy this. I know I shouldn't be, but forgive me. As you can see, I did copy it, as I said I would. And I'm gonna separate it a bit more to make it look a bit nicer. And the only thing I have to change right now is change this to blog post three. If we save the file, we have the blog post loaded already in. So it will show up. So we're going to save it just in okay, thanks, that's not what I wanted. So we're going to save it just in case. And uh, what do we do? Well, since it's hosted on GitHub, on my GitHub uh, websites like thing that's going on over that, or GitHub pages actually, which I use to host my website and my blog and my tutorials even, um, all I have to do is just type in get add then a dot hit enter it's going to uh, cache everything that it's going to update and next we do get commit dash m uh, let's do um, added another another or added a post to my blog. Added a post to my blog. As you can see, it loaded as a master and ID. Added a post to my blog. Two files were changed. 54 in insertions. Create, mo create node or mode, um, its ID and post blog post 3.html. So what this says is that it's going to push it. Once I push it, it's going to load it in into the repository so that you guys can see it. Simply put, I'm going to publish my post onto my website. 
that's the gist of it. That's really simplistic. To do that, get push origin and the branch I have it on, which happens to be master. Now it's gonna ask me for my username. I wanna type that in real quick. And it's gonna ask for the password. I have a really extremely complicated password, which I do not know why I have that, but as you can see, it says that it's been done. Oh, okay, some errors again. This stuff happens all the time, so. Don't panic. Now it's published properly, so it just didn't connect properly, but now it's up. So uh, the only thing left is to just keep refreshing this page. Now I may cause some of you seizures, but I'm really sorry. <laughs> but it's gonna show up over here. It usually takes up to a minute to show up. And I'm probably even right now stretching it out. And I know it's been a bit longer, but I really wanted to show you guys how I am uh, publishing my posts, how I am doing things, so that um, everything else can happen fairly seamlessly. And there it is. That's the post right there on my blog. So I have a YouTube channel. What is it about? My channel is about my adventure into the technology world. You can follow me along if that's your thing. Uh, here's the link, and if you click the link, it's going to open a new tab with the Thing with the channel itself as I showed you before uh, I hope that we will learn a lot of stuff the conclusion the conclusion is that I wanted to let you guys know that it even exists in the first place and that's it that's how I publish my post I may change the formatting slightly but that's the gist of it uh, so yeah I hope you guys liked the video um, I hope it was education to some of you um, that's basically how I make my posts on my blog. I really want to show you the simple system that is in it. It's nothing complicated. Everyone can make it. It's really easy, in fact. And that's pretty much it. So you can even check out the code of my blog on my GitHub page. Um, let me resize this a bit. You can even check out my blog on my GitHub page. I like three minutes ago, it's been updated, you see? At least at the time of recording but yeah that's it uh, so if you want you can actually fork this and use it for your own blog it is easy uh, if anyone is curious if you have a web page that you've made on github and want to make it accessible to everyone it's really simple you scroll down here and in the source you have to pick the master branch i recommend that you have just one branch for each page and not separate branches because that may cause some problems um, to show you how I've structured that if you go to my uh, to my account and go to here you'll see that uh, I have here uh, what is it yeah so here I have the Devil Windows 10 thing which I showed you on my home page it's a separate website separate link uh, the same thing with home and the same thing with my blog. It's the exact same thing. My blog is a bit special I have the about page directly into it, but that's only one post and I'm not I, it's like worthless to make a separate repo for just one Post that it's it's pointless So I just put it all into one and that's it. I originally planned on using just the home thing for my website but then I ran into some problems with um, well, a lot of things, I don't want to go into detail about that, but a lot of things went wrong, so. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I may leave it there. Uh, if anyone has any questions whatsoever, just let me know. Um, I'd like to make more videos like this. Um, again, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, and... 
let me know if you want to see more of this stuff because it's fun for me to do this sort of stuff so yeah that's that so yeah i hope that all of you guys will have a great day and make sure to live your full your life to the fullest until we meet next time see ya